Children in Bangladesh, like children across South Asia, are very likely to be stunted. That means that they're so malnourished that they don't grow normally. So one of the main efforts in terms of public health is to try to provide an environment that will allow children to grow normally. What we know now is that if you treat drinking water so that it's potable, so that you remove the germs from it, and you provide this to children, they're much less likely to get diarrhea. What's much less clear is what impact these might have on child growth or on child cognitive development. Therefore, we were interested in saying, can we put in some standard low-cost water sanitation and hygiene interventions, improve the environment, and so improve growth? We had 5,551 women who were randomly assigned to one of seven interventions, and then we followed those women for two years to see how their children grew. This paper reports several key findings. First, nearly all of the interventions reduced diarrhea. This was not unexpected, but still important because it suggests that people were actually using the interventions. What we found was that the children who received the nutritional intervention did grow better than children who did not. We found that children who received the nutrition plus the water sanitation hygiene intervention were 34% less likely to die compared to children in the control group. And this was actually the only group we saw this mortality benefit. In addition, the water sanitation or hand washing intervention, either singly or combined, did not impact child growth. What this tells us is that these interventions, even with high uptake, likely didn't clean the environment enough to impact child growth. This is a disappointment, but it's also helps to provide some direction as a way forward. Part of what this teaches us is that this problem of stunting children who don't grow normally um, is not going to be fixed easily by uh, a little bit of attention to water sanitation and hygiene. And it suggests that this, what has been a hard problem, continues to be a hard problem. And we need to think anew about strategies to help these children grow.